Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, August 13th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather bisected today. We think the northeastern counties dry. Scattered storms for the southwestern part of the state. Rain chances increase statewide late this week. Let's take a look. This is the big picture. This is the upper air look across North America. Got a pretty strong trough for summertime in the eastern states. The axis a little east of Alabama, so there'll be some subsidence over northeast Alabama, some sinking air. Trough back in the northwest. Check out the precipitable water early this morning, and this really tells the story this time of the year. Notice the shades of blue north and east of Birmingham. That's pretty dry. Uh, those are amounts under one inch, and we think for places like Huntsville, Anniston, Gadsden, you'll be dry today. South and west of Birmingham, the moisture is deep, and that's where scattered showers and storms will likely fire after 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. Typical muggy morning for August. We're in the 70s. Highs today should be in the low 90s in most spots. Around the nation, pretty quiet on this August morning. Got flash flood watches up around Philadelphia, parts of eastern Pennsylvania, parts of New Jersey. The rest of the United States, very calm. That's a severe weather outlook today. Got a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of the Carolinas. Also back in the southwest with the monsoon season. And again, notice northeast Alabama in dry air. For the rest of the state, it's the chance of pop-up storms this afternoon. This is tomorrow, and this is day three, which is Wednesday. Again, the chance of scattered storms, but organized, severe weather not expected. Rain for the next seven days. Heaviest rain, places like Tulsa, Oklahoma City, and Wichita, Kansas City. In Alabama, rain amounts between one and two inches. And of course, we say this a lot, but it's true. These maps are awfully hard to define in summertime because of the scattered nature of the storms. Your number might vary, but that's the rain expected through Monday of next week. Tropics were in the peak of the hurricane season, remarkably quiet. In the deep tropics, it's the same setup we've seen for the last month or so. Very dry air, anomalously cool water. So tropical formation not expected there. There's a swirl up in the North Atlantic that's drifting south, but again, strong winds aloft will likely prevent that from developing only a 20% chance of any development over the next five days. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06C run ballot today at 1 o'clock local time. Again, trough axis north and east of the state. And depending on where you are, you might see scattered storms, maybe not. This is the precipitable water valid at 3 o'clock this afternoon. And basically, it's the same as what we have now. North and east of Birmingham, that's pretty dry air. You should see no rain today. South and west of Birmingham, deep moisture. Uh, places like Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, Montgomery, Mobile, Monroeville, Camden, Grove Hill. Uh, and some of the storms could be strong like yesterday. This is tomorrow, and again, the day looks relatively quiet. The high should be at or just over 90 in most spots. And But notice how the moisture is deeper statewide. So we'll mention scattered storms tomorrow afternoon, probably widely scattered. This is Wednesday, and again, that looks fairly quiet, but no doubt we could see a pop-up storm. I'd say the odds of any one spot getting a storm Wednesday, about 1 in 4. But then Thursday, the moisture should be deeper as showers and storms begin to increase, and especially on Friday. Uh, Friday highs drop back in the 80s. Some sun, but cloudy periods with scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms. And the weekend looks a little unsettled. This is Saturday. Again, like Friday, the sun out at times, but a couple of passing thunderstorms are likely and pretty much the same deal on Sunday. Highs for the weekend should be in the upper 80s, which is below average for this time of the year. Go to next week. This is Monday, August 20th. Pretty good looking trough over the central part of the United States. And again, for us, we stay in a moist air mass. So a mixture of clouds and sunshine with scattered showers and storms. Let's go out 10 days. Wednesday of next week, August 22nd, very deep, cool trough over the Great Lakes. Going to feel like fall up there. But for us, we got a surface boundary that's probably going to stall out north of the state. And again, that means scattered showers and storms, which is typically a fixture here every day in the summer. Check the numbers. We might bump up to the mid-90s in a day or two, but generally speaking, the number's not that bad for August. Highs for the rest of the month mostly in the upper 80s. 
to near 90. No sign of any excessively hot weather. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.